Now, many a times we wonder why we are providing the platinum electrode. Many a times you also provide gold electrode. Okay, that is because it provides it provides the surface for the reactions to take place. Okay, platinum or gold are used as electrodes as they are as they provide a bigger surface for the reaction to take place. Okay? Without themselves participating in the reaction. Without themselves participating in the reaction. Now that becomes important. They themselves should not react and form, form something else and they are pretty pretty noble metals right they they do not react Th that's the reason it's not for some fancy that they're not making jewelry out of it right so okay so so this platinum as you see so so platinum is used in used in standard hydrogen electrode okay and and the reaction is is what we already know to be this to be this okay it is also used in bromine electrode used in bromine electrode okay so so the same thing okay pt br2 br minus Br minus, okay, and it is Br2 plus one electron giving me Br minus. The reduction reactions are these, okay. You'll understand in the fifth chapter that higher the area that is available for certain thing to spread higher is the rate of reaction okay the higher is the surface area that you provide the higher is the rate of reaction and hydrogen actually clings onto onto the surface of platinum okay this is called physisorption okay physisorption some bonds develop between them and it spreads the more it spreads the more is the area fine and faster is the reaction so 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 that is actually the surface chemistry in action fine and it will always happen the more you spread something or cut something the area will start becoming higher and higher and higher for example if you have a cube okay if you have a cube with each side as one meter then the volume of the cube is what the sorry the surface area of the cube is what surface area of the cube is 6 into 1 square which is 6 meter square now if I cut it into 1000 equal cubes and how can I do that I'll have to put 10 cuts along this 
no ten cuts sorry 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 ten cuts along this and and ten cuts along this and hope you I hope you understand what I mean so so if I'm giving this cut this will this will cut it like this if I'm giving it this cut, it will cut it like that. So what will happen? You will get how many thousand cubes each of side how much? Each of side one tenth meter, right? One upon ten meter. Because it has got one meter has got cut into cut into how many? Ten. So one upon ten, right? So what is the surface area, total surface area of the small cubes? Let us calculate it for one of the cubes. So it is 1 by 10 square into 6 into 1000. Because there are 1000 cubes. Thousand cubes. Each having area of this. So it is actually giving me 60 meter square. Okay. That's why when you use the powdered form of something, what will happen is the surface area goes up and the and the reaction rate also goes, goes up many a times. So you'll find some powdered powdered copper being put in, and suddenly the, the, the reaction which was not proceeding suddenly suddenly picks up. Okay. That is, the that is the catalyst because catalyst is something that actually does not participate in the reaction but somehow it still accelerates the reaction. Okay.